Hey guys, what's up? This is Marshall Simon here. I just wanted to say I'm happy to be back on YouTube. It's been a long time since I've been on YouTube for a while. So, anyways, um, I want you guys to know that um, I haven't been around for quite a while because, you know, I haven't watched the WWE or ordered a pay-per-view for quite a while because I missed Extreme Rules, Over the Limit, No Way Out, and Money in the Bank, you know. And I haven't watched one since WrestleMania. So, Anyways, I want you guys to know, um, I just went to go see The Dark Knight Rises for a change, you know? And it was one hell of a good Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises, directed by Christopher Nolan, Warner Brothers. It's such an amazing picture. I love that name, you know? And you know what? Christian Bale, you are awesome. You're back in the Cape Crusade, and you know what? Thank you, Christian, for donning the... You know, the bat cave, the, uh, what do you call it, the bat suit, and it was awesome. Michael Caine is back as Alfred Pennyworth. Alfred is an awesome guy, and, you know, I gotta say, you know, you were amazing, Michael Caine, and he's in, that's why you're an Oscar winner. And for Morgan Freeman, another Oscar winner, he's back as Lucius Fox, the guy who does the gadgets, you know, like he would say, <laughs> Very well there, Bruce. And you know what? You're awesome. And they added Anne Hathaway. The hot Selena Kyle slash Catwoman. So Catwoman went from a blonde now to a brunette. And you know what? I love brunettes. And you know, Anne Hathaway is awesome. <whistles> Yummy. <laughs> Those tights. Wow. From there... There was, um, believe it or not, <laughs> remember, um, who was it again? Oh yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer was the last Catwoman years ago, back in 1992. 20 years later, Anne Hathaway. Next, we had Tom Hardy, who was, I would say he was more like the voice of Bane, because guess who I think was Bane, that real heavyweight. Because I think it was Ryan Reeves slash Ryback slash Skip Sheffield, the WWE heavyweight. I mean, look at him. I mean, look at Bane. I think he was a pro wrestler, you know, because honestly, Ryback can do his own stunts. And I think it was him who donned the Bane suit and wore the mask. And he sounded a lot like Darth Vader. <laughs> but Tom Hardy did an excellent voice of him, and I think it really was Ryan Reeves, who was the stuntman as Bane, you know? That was awesome film, you know? I gotta say this, um, Dark Knight Rises, Warner Brothers, Christopher Nolan, I'm gonna give you guys two thumbs up, because it was worth seeing this year, and um, I enjoyed it. And from Leonard Maltin, it is a true hot ticket, you know why? The Dark Knight Rises made $350 million here in North America because I'm Canadian and you know what, I got to go see it at the Cineplex and thank you for giving us The Dark Knight Rises and you know, and I'm sorry WWE Universe, you know, I've been watching a lot of films, you know, and for me, it's, it's one of the best films and you know what, and they picked a really, really good cast. And I'm going to say this. Dark Knight Rises, I give you 10 stars. Especially with Batman Begins and the Dark Knight. So, I wonder who's going to be the new, you know, Bruce Wayne slash Batman in the bat suit. So, we'll see and wait and we'll figure it out. And you know what? I'm looking forward. So, I will see the 25th anniversary of SummerSlam this year. So... This is Marshall Simon saying thanks for watching. Enjoy.